the same Holy Ghost on your inside, the same Holy Ghost on my inside. People have said, how can the Holy Ghost on my inside be the same as that of pastor? The Holy Ghost is not a different flavor. It's not a different person than everybody else. It's that some of us maximize the fact that the Holy Ghost is on our inside more than others. But the Holy Ghost on my inside is the same Holy Ghost on your inside. And let me tell you, if you are really very serious with God, you can do everything that I'm doing and more. There's more seriousness I'm supposed to do. This is not the optimum expression of the Holy Ghost in a man. If you want to see how much the Holy Ghost can do with a person, just read the Bible. When you see how the Spirit came upon Elijah and he ran before he up to the entrance of Jezreel, I've not started running like that yet. I'm saying that why you are thinking about running spiritually. Elijah ran physically with his two legs and he outran horses. You don't you know how the Holy Ghost came upon, upon Samson. Everywhere Samson went, when the Holy Ghost came upon him, was just breaking things. I know that when you read storybooks, you see Samson as a muscular man, but the Bible does not say Samson was muscular. It was not muscle that made Samson do what he did. It was the Spirit of God. Right? You see the way the Holy Ghost manifested through the apostles. In fact, the Bible tells, that, tells us that Peter's shadow was healing the sick. Peter's shadow. Your shadow, you are running from it. Shadow. Peter walked in a place and a shadow was healing the sick. There was no time to lay hands. Shadow was doing the work. It means that there was so much power of the Holy Ghost on the side of Peter that was flowing into a shadow. Do you know there was so much power inside of Jesus that it was flowing into his garments? The woman just touched him and she received healing. You, there is so much the Holy Ghost can do. You just allow him to walk with you.